Hi there lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review of my new Petunia Pickle Bottom Bags. So in case you missed my unboxing of my um, recent order from Petunia Pickle Bottom, um, I have some baby bags here. They're just flipping cute and they're Disney and so I ordered them and yeah, I'm gonna do a review though for you on the differences because you might be in a different situation than I. But thank you so much for clicking on my video, lovely. Hello there, I am Laura, in case you are new here. Thank you for joining in in today's little review comparison of two different style bags from Petunia Pickle Bottom. If, 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 if you love girly content, this is the place that you want to be because um, that's all I bring you. I love girly style, I have a very girly aesthetic, and I live a modern princess lifestyle, and <sighs> I think you're going to like it here, so you might as well hit the subscribe button, also hit the bell, it's going to notify you when I upload a video, which is every week. Without further ado, let's get into the comparison of the Method and the Meta Backpacks. Yeah, meta Backpack. So I got it in the All Over Princess print, and then I also got it in the special little Cinderella print that has a really cute bow on it. So, guys. These are the exact same bag. So I'm just gonna be using one of them for the comparison. Now the other bag that I have, the Ariel backpack in the Method backpack. Side by side, you can see that the Ariel one is slightly taller. I looked at the dimensions online. The Ariel one is actually 15 by 15 by six. And then the Princess is almost 14 on both ways, so it's 14 by 14 by six. So they're very similar, it's just an inch taller on the Method backpack, the Ariel one. The Ariel one also came with this cute little seashell pouch. Way more compartments and stuff like that on the outside versus the Princess one. So over here on the Ariel one, you have two front little pockets that are just open. You have the seashell lining on the inside, the two side pockets are actually insulated. So it has this like gray lining in here um, to help keep your like water bottles cool. Also have this top zipper pocket on the top of this flap and it has like a felt lining. So that would be a good spot to put your cell phone in as well, just cause it's like a nice soft inside. And it's the whole width of the flap. The Meta, the princess one, basically you only have this exterior zipper pouch on the bottom. Now the zipper pouch over here, you have like an extender over on the left side, actually is an insulated pocket, so that would be nice to put like your colder snacks in there as well if you need to have a place to store that on the go. Talking details on the backs of them, they look very similar. You can tell here, especially that the Ariel one is a slight bit taller than the Princess one. They both have zipper pockets on the back that you have the felt inside. And this one goes to about where flounder is as far as depth. And then on the Princess one, it ends like where this flower is here by Cinderella. So this one, it is shorter in comparison to the Mermaid one but this one is a lot shallower and this one's longer. They both have the D-rings up on the top. That way if you have like the stroller clips, you can like attach it and it can hang from your stroller. They both have the little like handle top right here and they both have the super nicely padded little um, backpack straps. You can see the only difference on the Meta backpack versus the Method is that it has this strap across so this is nice. It's not elastic or anything, but it's nice because if you're traveling, you can just slide it over the top of your suitcase handle. That way, if you don't want to wear it, if you just want to travel it and set it on top of the suitcase, then you can. As far as the depth, the space within the bag, you can see they both have it as like six inches wide and like point some change. So they're pretty similar in that sense. Again, the aerial one, it seems a little bit larger, but I think it's because you have the pouches here on the side. Like if you took those off, I'm pretty sure the width is the exact same. It has Flounder and Sebastian, and there's like cute little seashell details within her fin. And Ariel is in like this beautiful, like artsy, like more fashion-y illustration, which I'm definitely here for. I think it's really pretty. Now, in comparison of the two pinks in the backpack, the mermaid one is definitely more of a 
nudish kind of like tan undertone to the blush a little more peach undertones whereas the princess one my lighting keeps changing princess one definitely is a little bit more true like baby pink top flap on the method backpack has a zipper all the way around and then it opens and you have this really cute seashell detail work on the inside it's a magnetic flap that lifts and opens you have this adorable little princess print on the inside and then you have a double zipper. It starts up here at the top corner and then it zips all the way down to the bottom. Now moving into the interior space, let's start with the Method backpack. So again, it's a taller bag, it opens at the top. So there's the huge difference there. I will say this bag seems like you can fit a lot of stuff down in here. She's, she's, she's deep. There is a zipper pocket on the inside. And then down inside the bag, you have three of these black little elastic pouches. It also comes with a changing pad. That's super, super cute. Oh my goodness, again, I have no need for this. Maybe it can be my makeup mat for right now. You have a large little pocket here. That's where the changing pad went. And then on the sides, you have two of these black little pouches as well. Now for the Meta backpack. So. After you lift the flap over, I showed you that how it unzips, there is a slot pouch right here on the front as well. This is nice because it's as long and deep as the whole bag. Within this pouch, you also have two extra little pouches. You have one that's a felt pouch here, so again, you could use that for cell phone storage. And then there's one of these black mesh little elastic band pouches otherwise. As for the interior, I love this princess print. I just think that it is so adorable. This is really hard to do with just one hand and a camera otherwise in the other. This one also comes with the changing pad. And just so you can see it laid out, this is what it looks like. You have two of the black mesh pouches. They're the same size. And on the back side, there's this nice like slit pocket right here. They show like if you wanna put your laptop in there, if you wanna put an iPad, whatever you need to use this slit. It's slightly padded not major but slightly here on this other opposite side as where it opens this is why the zipper can't come all the way down if you unzip this you have a little storage space that's insulated so if you need to keep like your baby bottle in there or if you have a water bottle that will fit this height it is on the like shorter side i feel like a 16 18 ouncer might fit but nothing taller than that. I did just wanna show you though, if you're more interested in the Cinderella print, the inside doesn't have like a cute design, just like these ones do. And I'm really kind of like let down on that. It's fine because it's like neutral and it's like kind of classy and more elegant to match the bow. The changing pad then obviously matches like this neutral little beige color. There are these nice little like pull tabs here by the zippers. That way you can like hold on to something as you're pulling the zipper around. Where on the Method backpack, they do not have that. Which do you think might fit your needs better? I hope this review came in handy for you guys. I hope I went over, I think I went over pretty much everything in depth just from my knowledge, not really knowing on a mom's point of view, but um, just looking at some cute bags that maybe you'll be interested in. If you lovelies enjoyed the video, I would love it if you gave the video a thumbs up. It's always so greatly appreciated. Also, like I mentioned, I do tons of girly content, including Disney, because um, obviously I love Disney. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love it if you become a lovely and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell because I upload a video every single week and I want you to get notified as soon as it goes off. And other than that, lovelies, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.